guys jason here and the xperia z3 has been one of my best phones ever and this time it's coming out with android marshmallow 6.0 and i really like it um sony did a good job at pushing this out there's so many reviews on this on youtube so i'm not going to be detailing all the features i'm just going to talk about what's the essential things that you can find in android 6.0 marshmallow on the xperia z3 first off system ui tuner this can be activated either by holding the settings icon and it's just going to spin around and when it spins around just release it and you're going to have the system ui tuner you can arrange your quick settings in the notification bar the way you like and um, you can also change different things in the status bar you can even add a battery percentage in the battery icon the app opening animation also changed with marshmallow which is one of my best things i actually like because i really like the way it's smooth and the way apps just grow out it's my, one of my best things actually with Android 6.0 Marshmallow, seriously. Because it just makes the whole experience better. It just makes everything more smooth and looks more polished than it was before. The camera here is a default Sony camera app, as you guys know, because this is not um, from Google. This is from Sony, so they decided to put their apps in here. So it's just a default Sony camera app. Um, same thing to be said about the music app. The music app here is a default Sony music app. Nothing much to say here. Just the default music app and also the gallery app. The gallery app is the default Sony gallery app here. It's the same Sony gallery app that we've all known. Google Now on tab is also available, but because I'm in China, I'll have to configure this later by using a walk around. But it's really good. I've seen it on other videos and I'd really like to try it later. So stay tuned with me for that. You can also find the Google settings in the settings app which is really handy when you want to find it. Battery consumption this time is more detailed, giving you how many milliamp hours have been trained by a particular app or something on your phone, which I really like a lot. It helps improve the experience. The app info this time is nothing to play around, guys, because it's really packed with a ton of features. You can check even the notifications, search which notifications have priority or something. You can also search which apps are open by default on your device. And you can choose if it's going to ask you every time or not. You can also see how much battery an app is consuming just by checking the app before. You can see how much memory is consuming also, which is also very useful. You can also clear the data. You can check how much data is using, maybe your mobile data. You can restrict the app. It's really cool. I like the way things are packed here. You can clear the data if you want. And also the big bank people are waiting for permissions you can search what permissions an app is using and you can block them internal memory has been well managed here because you can merge it with your sd card or even usb otg leaving the system to be able to manage your usb otg or any other storage very well this is built in now so no more hacks for manufacturers and this is going to be very good to any device so your device is just going to be able to manage any storage system without any problems you can also see the volume panel has been tweaked here. I like this tweak because of the animations. It just looks sweeter. And um, that's just it about this video, guys. There's not so much I can tell you guys about it if you've already seen so many videos on Marshmallow, but just to tell you what Sony has brought here. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more.